like our parents like if we did that like it's disrespectful like you know to like Canadians we think in our head I don't know like the stuff I see they don't even care because if I were to immigrate to another country I would try to fit in I would try to assimilate yeah, exactly. to that culture right yeah, yeah exactly I think they were not promised anything so I think the protest is uh, what do I say worthless before coming here they should plan that what uh, what kind of study they want to do so that they can be secure in the future should like personally I am doing police course in this college so I'm secure I can get job in the police line a lot of immigration consultants just want to make money so that's why they lure students by giving these kind of uh, advertisements that we can guarantee you PR with study and all these kind of stuff Sarah Stock from Rebel News in Brampton, Ontario, where just last weekend international students were protesting with demands to have work permits extended. They're demanding to extend work permits of those who are expiring next year and to have postgraduate work permits extended from three years to five years. Let's go talk to some Brampton locals and find out if they agree with these international students that they have a right to stay in Canada. Let's also talk to some of the students themselves and find out what promises were made to them and who was selling them these lies that guaranteed them that they would stay in Canada indefinitely. Do you agree with us about the work permits? Um, I think so. It should get extended because, um, you know, my students come here and they need, um, I think, a bit more time um, to explore about their careers. They, um, I think it's, it's better if they get, um, you know, three years work permit rather than two. So I think it's better. First of all, I think they should be closing the doors here in Canada because we're letting far too many people in here. There's a very large influx of people in Brampton right now. So, I mean, we can only handle so much. If they say they should not be allowed, they shouldn't be in here before too, right? So when, when they allow them to come in here, they should give them everything, whatever they're... Well, they're, they were allowed to come for a certain amount of time and then that time ended, right? It's like if I were to go to a different country, you can't always just stay forever. Sometimes you have a temporary how is, visa. How it is, like people coming uh, from India, like from South Asia, like different countries, they are they are coming here for a good future. Uh, they say like they're coming here for studies and then they wanted to come become a permanent resident here. And uh, and uh, all the students, even uh, people working for us too, they are contributing to everything to the, you know, the, to the country. Yes. It's bad for everyone, like it's harder for everyone to get jobs, housing, everything, but it's the government, you know, like they do it on purpose. They they bring them all here because they make the prices very high. Like they get, the government makes a lot of money. If you check like a college fee, like a semester I checked, for me it was 2000 for international student it was 17000 Many fear that these unprecedented levels of immigration are simply unsustainable as Canada is already experiencing a housing crisis and many are struggling to find jobs. It also seems like many foreigners are becoming students not just to study, but in order to get a postgraduate work permits and eventually permanent residency. Everybody come here for a better life. Um, people, Most of the people come here to do their studies, but after that they change their mind after staying here that they want to get the permanent residency and citizenship. One person brings four or five people in and usually like when you are a student you have you do these small jobs like you know helping hand and here and there but all the, those jobs were uh, taken by the visitors what is the government going to do we're just waiting around they need to do their job but they're not doing their job we're in a corrupt system I believe they're not coming here just for uh, visiting and then go back people come here to settle and this government know about it people are coming here to settle down here but I know a lot of people that come here they don't even have their studies ready and like I talked to a couple of them and they're like oh like their studies are not ready they just live with a lot of people like it's hard it's hard for them too yeah. like you know my parents were immigrants too they came to this country like a while back like it, obviously it wasn't this much but they got used they adapted to like the Canadian culture like you know they didn't do too much like yeah. the stuff I see today it's like I don't know, they don't really adapt to the culture. The truth is, many of these international students were sold the dream by immigration consultants that all they have to do is enroll as a student to come to Canada and they will be on the path to citizenship. They were told they would be able to bring their families over to Canada as well to live their best life in the great white north. Now, somebody is profiting off this scam, but it isn't always international students. It seems like they may have been sold some promises that weren't kept. 
Turns out Canadian citizens are paying the price for this immigration scandal. I know uh, the education institutions, that they're, they're all fake. There's like one room is not, how can you call this a college? Yeah. This was this was happening in front of everybody's eyes. We know it, it was going, one day it's going to happen. But nobody stopped them that time. And a lot of people are concerned about housing and the availability of all these new people coming in and also about a lack of jobs. Do you see that as a concern? Yes, that is basically, I think the main concern right now here is like the housing and their lack of jobs, uh, of job opportunities for people. International students are coming here and they can't work, they can't provide for themselves. I think that's a really big issue currently. The thing is, uh, well, I think that Mr. Trudeau needs to get out of power. Who do you want to be in power I instead? Want, uh, I just want, uh, I want the government to change completely. You know, there are no jobs, there's no housing, you know. So the government should have decided this one before. Now they are just saying, oh, we don't want these guys here. You know, they should go back. That's yeah. So the problem is they let in too many people. Yeah. They let too many people yeah. become students. Yeah. Now it's not good for the students have to go home, but also it's bad for a lot of the Canadians living here too, because so now there's not as many jobs, there's no housing. The money they're going to spend on them to send them back, it's going to be way too much. You know, like if they're saying, OK, we're going to nobody's going to go like this. OK, you go. Like our parents, like if we did that, like it's disrespectful. Like, you know, to like Canadians, we think in our head, I don't know, like the stuff I see, they don't even care. Because if I were to immigrate to another country, I would try to fit in. I would try to assimilate yeah, exactly. to that culture, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what we were, me and my friends are talking about, too. We're like, we're trying to adapt, you know, respect other people's culture. But I see other people adapting to theirs now. It's, it's crazy, but it is what it is, you know? You know, they should stop these people who are coming now. That's the first thing they should do, not with the people who are already here for four or five years and they have contributed too much to the uh, society, to the, uh, you know, to the country. But I think now after five years, you say, OK, we're going to kick you and go out. That's, that's something unfair. So we spoke to some locals in downtown Brampton and now we're at Sheridan College to see what the international students themselves have to say. I think it's important for students as they give three or three or four years of their life uh, in to this country and also they spend hefty amount of money so i think they should protest and the government should also listen to them this thing should be done for them because they are working hard a lot over here when like they are coming on the work permit after that they are working a, lo a lot lot over here and i just want them to be given the chance to stay over here so that they can perform well, they can have a little bit more work to be done. I, I'm worried that how can I extend my work permit. So there are a lot of other uh, options such as LMIA. So I will try to focus on getting LMIA uh, immediately after I will uh, nearby in the work permit uh, expiration. So I want to say government have to do something for international students because they are doing for refugees. But they are they are not taking concern of international students. I think they were not promised anything. So I think the protest is, uh, what do I say, worthless? So, yeah. So uh, you study, uh, you, uh, you do your thing for three years, which uh, the work permit they get. And after that, if the country needs you, like if you are in healthcare or if you are in trade, if the country needs you, they'll take you in. If it does not, time to go home. Yeah. That, it's, that, it's that's what's, what I'll be doing. Is it, yeah, because it's what's best for Canada too, yeah. right? It's for the people who live here too, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And uh, and we can't force our opinions, our beliefs. We can't force what we want on the government. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it is what it is. That's yeah. all. Do you think they have the right though? When a lot of these people are saying, oh, we have the right to stay here. But they were never really promised by the government that they can stay. They were just told you can study here, right? But I don't think so that giving work, giving work permit uh, guarantees you a PR. So they are only asking for a work permit, not a PR. What do you think about a lot of people are saying we have a housing crisis right now. There's not many jobs, so that's why they're saying it's so hard to have so many people stay, right? I think so. Maybe the government can play some role for this one so that they can give some work for them to be done over here. Um, 
maybe because of this thing they can get some work maybe the government can help for this before coming here they should plan that what uh, what kind of study they want to do so that they can be secure in future should like personally i am doing police course in this college so i am secure i can get job in the police line so i am very much uh, uh, concentrated on my study so yeah they have to plan before to uh, before they came here so that they can uh, achieve their goals and get more work opportunities why should people be able to stay but there's not going to be a job for them because we already have enough people to fill their job i don't have much to say about that you don't know <laughs> no i think that government also is taking a good decision if they don't extend the time period as housing crisis and job crisis are at its peak at the moment so i think the both both the values are appreciated so yeah. you see both sides yeah. of the situation yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I've been hearing is a lot of these students were told by immigration agents and people like that or by the colleges that if you come study here you will get to stay here forever. Uh, Do you think is that true? Do you think people are being told that? Yeah, I think that because a lot of immigration consultants just want to make money. So that's why they lure students by giving these kind of Uh, advertisements that we can guarantee you PR with study and all these kind of stuff and many students come here for that purpose yeah. only yeah if you want to see more reports like this and support our independent journalism exposing the corruption within Canada's immigration system please head over to migrantreports.com